My mom is a passionate balcony gardener, so I decided to surprise her with a Lego balcony garden. What do you guys think? Let's start the build. Hi guys and welcome back to the Caleb Show. I am building my mom a surprise balcony garden. This video is dedicated to my lovely mom who loves balcony gardening. She never has enough plants in her garden. It needs to be really, really humongous because she loves plants. I'm going to put butterflies. No real butterflies, just printed butterflies. The more the better. Okay, so it needs to be really, really beautiful. And I'm going to give her an arched door. Just like that. I can't really put a real door, so I'm not sure if that's enough, but I guess it'll still work. I mean, who's going to try stealing my mom's plans? Okay, so these stickers are on the inside because there is a house on the inside. I'm not going to try building that. Oh, I love these pieces. They came from the Lego Harry Potter railway station. Hogwarts station. And I've forgotten the name of their station. I definitely forgot. Okay, we need these over here and a bird. Birdhouse? A birdhouse. Yep, yeah, my mom loves watching birds as well, so I'm going to give her a birdhouse. Yay! Except, except she doesn't like birds for waking her up in the morning. Yep, they do. <laughs> they wake me up, and I'm a really sleepy sleeper. Now, this is a bit wobbly, so we're going to have to secure that with some pieces on both the sides. And this one... Ah, I keep on messing up. There we go. I'm just going to remove that pole. A one by one piece. And that's too big. We're going to have to shorten that up and use some small pieces. Same on the other side. And now we can use it. That's better. Now over here, I want this to be kind of put properly so that it doesn't wobble off. And it needs to stay sturdy and in line. Same on the other side. And there we go. Now we need to add another entire line because it's going to be really, really high. We need to line it all up. I'm going to use small pieces so that it looks like bricks. And it will give a cool texture. Okay, that's a lot. Mm, I'm using mainly 1x3 pieces and 1x2 pieces. Now, I want more arches on the top for extra design. Let's pop that on. But I'm going to put these inside. So for, yeah, more extra decoration and extra design. On both the sides. And bigger ones over here. We need a lot of them. And I placed that wrong. Yep, I placed that wrong. Oh, I'm so inaccurate at this. There we go. Perfect. We need to line the entire part up. And just one more required. Finally, that's a tedious job. Now we need a line up the top, and before that, we need to put this part together for extra support. Now this so that the roof is easily removable. I can't wait for the inner part, which is going to have plenty of plants, and plant pots, and flowers, and leaves, and who knows what what. I am really bad at guessing plants, and I hardly know the names, but if I want to know the name, I just need to tell my mom, mom, which plant is this, and then, ding, 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 I have all of the plants named. Now the railings, I'm going to make them really, really different. All of them are going to be different. Well, not all of them. Okay, yellow lining for making the place up brighter. My mom loves brightness. I'm so excited to show this to her. So I made this plant. I just took some glue tag, put some cherries, and created this plant. It looks pretty good. What do you think? Now this so that we can hang a carrot pot. A carrot crate, actually. I snapped that off so that I can stick that in. Enough for the carrots. 
Look at that. Now it can hang. Yay. I'm so, so, so exhilarated for this. Can't wait to see how it turns out to look at the end. I'm going to have to move the railing because I'm not able to see the inside. Now for some decoration. I'm using corner pieces, rod pieces, and circular pieces. Well, cylinder pieces for this little design. And it goes in the corner. Right there, it fits so perfectly. It's fitting in so neatly. I love that. A spinning piece, and we're going to put up some flowers. I don't know which. I don't know which flowers I'm putting. I don't know any names of any flowers. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now this is a really, really innovative idea. It's a honeycomb pot, which I made with the honeycomb, and I turned it over. Now for a pineapple plant. Oh no, it just, it just keeps on falling. I'm going to have to make that a bit taller. Yay, now it's staying. Okay. Ah, okay. No, that's not going there. Where is it down? Now the railings can go back on. Hey, where's the plan? Okay, it's right there. And this one here. There we go. Now for some tools, a drill, uh, something I don't know what's called. <laughs> something I don't know what that called. Now I do need to hang something from the wall. So I'm going to have to break all of that so I can fix that up. And remove that. And put this here. Okay, now I can hang something from the wall. Pop that back on. I'm going to be using these leaves. And I'm going to make it a, it's a pumpkin wine. That's hanging off the wall. All right, I need to put that back on. Extra pots. Now, is this chair looking better? Nah, it needs to be more comfortable. Mm, I'm going to remove that, replace it with a comfy sofa. There we go. Now for the railings again. I <laughs> keep on putting them on and removing them. Because I can't seem to put the things in properly. I'm really, really clumsy. I keep on making this blunder. <laughs> now for the roof. I'm not going to be showing you how I made this because it's just an extra prop. If you guys want to make it, then you're really welcome to. But I don't really find it that important because the balcony is more important. And the roof can slant down. There we go. Now we need to hang some things. Hanging pots. My mom's favorite. Now this needs to go like this. And we're going to pop on the wines. One wine. Two wine. Three wine. And four wine. There we go. We have four wines. And that's looking so cute. I'm going to have to settle that roof on so that I can plug that in. Mm, from the back as well. Done. Now we just have to put that on. And the flower pot and extra pots. So I do want something on the roof as well for extra prettiness. Now this is really complicated. Me, myself, I don't know how to build this. I'm just gonna try and try till I succeed. Mm, I think this is going like a... Uh, no, this is working. This is not working. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, it keeps on falling off. It's not that sturdy, but I think I fixed it off camera. But still, it does work. <laughs> okay. Yep, it does. There we go. You just need to fix it on properly. Now for some hanging pots. So this hanging pot, I use this piece and double-sided stud pieces so that it can actually hang and spin. Look at that. If you guys want to see how to build it, then comment down below. I'll definitely make a separate video. Look, it spins. <laughs> I love that. I am so excited to show this to my mom. Hopefully, she's going to be really happy. <laughs> and yep, yeah, that needs to go there. Hmm, what do I put inside? Some flowers. Yep, flowers. Okay, they need to go in both the ones. 
I'm using a different flower for this one. Now, what is remaining? Hmm. Spinny, spinny. This is so fidgeting. I can't stop. Yep, yeah, but now I remember. I need to put the pumpkins back on. And the second one. Yay! It's done. It's completed. I just have to kind of give it a bit more dimension and make it higher. So I'm going to be using these pieces on the bottom. Ugh, you know what, guys? You can just do it. I just did it off camera. It took me like 10 minutes. It's a really hard job. Now the carrot pot can hang. It's ready. Or is it? I want some extra plants. Alrighto, alrighto. There we go. Now it's done. What do you guys think about it? I am really excited to show it to my mom. Comment down below if you liked it. Bye, guys. Now to show mom. Hey, mom, I made this for you. Oh, honey, thank you. I love it. Happy Lego gardening.